Aikido, which is uh, the art of uh, basically utilizing your opponent's uh, center or their balance and their momentum against them. It is a very, very graceful art form uh, that takes uh, a pretty good time to get a, a efficiency behind it. But in looking at a trained individual, it looks like it's make-believe. But trust me, it is not. I stay connected all along here until she starts to run around here for some reason and try to touch me. But Aikido was started by our, our O-sensei. Um, and O-sensei's philosophy developed over time. He realized that uh, conflict, or very strict conflict, really was not the way to win uh, or, or overpower your opponent. So what he realized is uh, a peaceful resolution to a conflict. So looking internal instead of external, and instead of fighting your opponent, trying to correct what's wrong in yourself. Uh, so what you see in Aikido is a lot less brute force and a lot more what we call blending with our opponent's energy level. So the concept is actually catching your opponent's energy flow, if you will. So even during a punch, your opponent's moving in a direction, and we try to keep that direction flowing. So I take advantage of the energy that my opponent's given me and uh, keep him going in that direction. If possible, uh, I bring him down to the ground, and at that point, I have options. I can either end it with a, uh, with a strike, or I can just pin him to the ground. What we find, uh, amazingly enough, is women tend to excel early on at Aikido. Uh, a lot of men are brought up with, uh, with the, the, the sense that, oh, I've got to be strong at something. I've got to overpower to do it properly. Uh, so what, what actually I had to learn is that you have to unlearn that. Uh, you have to get rid of any concept of using muscle and make sure you're in the proper position, make sure you have the proper timing. Uh, so it is something that a lot of women uh, do excel at. And in fact, we have some elderly people who just don't want to get into a martial art where there's a lot of punching and hitting and conditioning. Uh, not to say that this, this doesn't get difficult, but uh, uh, you know, again, it's, it's a mutual agreement between partners as to how difficult you're going to train. You actually don't have to guide it that far. All you need my hand to do is just miss it. Okay? What we try to do is find connection. So the best way we, we f teach connection is to actually grab. Uh, it, it's very difficult to visualize or even feel a punch coming out of the air and connecting with your opponent from a punch. It's, it's not only is it difficult, but there's a very small window of opportunity. So what we try to do is start with a grab and see if we can't feel that before we move into punches or more flowing attacks. But you'll see, uh, we try to incorporate kicks, punches, grabs, uh, weapons. Uh, many, many of the techniques that we do also have a very similar movement with a weapon. So we try to incorporate sword or boken into the techniques. Kata or, or wrist grab, so kata dori. And then the foot movement is irimi or tenkan. So it's either an enter or an enter and then let's say turn around the attacker. Uh, a lot of the more common techniques, so there and again, you see this in many martial arts, but there's a kodagaish or a wrist turn. Uh, and again, that enables me to bring the attacker down to the ground. Well, typically what we do is uh, we let people come and practice. Uh, come practice, do a few classes. If you like it, then join. Uh, and again, we, we work on uh, basic falls. There's a lot of falling and rolling. Um, we try to explain some of the philosophy and just want to make sure that, that this is right for people. So again, it's come try it out. Uh, if you do like it, then yeah, wonderful. Come play with us.